Welcome back guys, we're back in Gothic and we're about to finish the game. We only have one last heart to pierce and I'm gonna just publish the end and on the same day so I don't leave you guys hanging. Okay, let's dodge this fireball, pierce the heart and we're not gonna fight the, f the demon. Ooh, that was cheeky. When the sleeper was banished into his own dimension, I returned to daylight. The magic barrier had fallen, but for me, the adventure had only just begun. Ain't that the truth? And these are the, uh, the credits, the end credits, the entire team. So, Gothic 1, awesome game. Uh, one could say it has a pretty simple and straightforward story, but it's incredibly atmospheric, great game design when it comes to uh, being uh, immersive, and uh, the map is really fun to explore, the NPCs are fun to talk to, has uh, maybe doesn't have a lot of replayability value because the, it's very li linear when it comes to how the story unfolds. Gothic 2 does a better job than Gothic 1 when it comes to that. Uh, not gonna give spoilers about Gothic 2. So now that we've ended Gothic 1, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna do a review of the game. And after I publish that review, we're gonna jump straight into Gothic 2, guys. And afterwards, we're gonna do Gothic Arcolos because in my mind, it's the true spiritual successor to Gothic 2. So, after that, I don't know, maybe we're gonna play Velaya, which is an awesome story mod. We're probably gonna play Gothic Dark Mysteries as well. But that's a story for another day. So, right now, I just wanna leave you guys to enjoy the credits. So, see you guys later in the next video when we're gonna do the Gothic review. So, stay tuned. Have a wonderful day as always, and remember, the most important story in the world is your own. Cheers guys!